I'm not a wear bear. So do a shot. What have you done for me lately? Head on time. <laughs> I'll just do a little shot. Just a little quick shot. It's fine. This is really fast. Uh, they don't know this, but the faster they do a shot, <laughs> the less it impacts you. So you do it really fast, and then it's like it's not doing that there if I would have done it. Science. That's for reals. Let's get, in, let's get into it. Hello everybody. Welcome to another Plot on Alex Drunk Review. I'm Shane Wilson, and tonight we're talking about Chillorama. Chillorama is an anthology movie. It has four movies in it. One of them is about poop. But there's other movies in it, too, that are not about poop. One of them is about semen. This movie does not sound good. There's a movie about poop. There's a movie about the semen. There's a movie about the Frankenstein of Anne Frankenstein. And then there's another movie that's about... Don't tell me. Don't tell me what it is. It's the werebear... It's the werebear. It's the I was a teenage werebear. So let's get into it. Chillerama opens with a guy whose wife was dead. And so what did he do? Of course he dug her up because he's got to give her the business. <laughs> so he takes that. <laughs> and he's like, hey, <laughs> you did never give me <laughs> Like, you didn't ever give me blowjobs in life, <laughs> but you're gonna give me blowjobs now. <laughs> so he starts tucking his dick out, <laughs> and this <laughs> wakes up. <laughs> She's dead as <laughs> and she just wakes up, and then she bites his dick off. And so now he's got blue, I don't know what, coming out of his penis hole, which is much larger now than before he got bit in the penis. <laughs> Pre bite, <laughs> regular size. Post bite, much larger. Mostly because his entire penis is gone. <laughs> What's he gonna do now? He's gonna pee so much faster. So this guy works at a drive-in movie. <laughs> so he's like, so he gets his dick bit off <laughs> and then his phone rings. <laughs> he answers it and they're like, you coming to work? He's like, I'll be there in a minute. He's got his dick bit off. I'm crying. <laughs> so he rolls up in the movie theater. And also tomorrow morning they're bulldozing the whole thing down. And everybody's showing up to watch their favorite horror movies. And first up on the deck is Wadzilla. And what's Wadzilla about? If it's not about some guy that only has one sperm. And it was such a derpy sperm. It was like swimming across. Morse, Morse guys, when they get turned on, they make so many sperms. But in your case, you make one big sperm. Whenever you get turned on, you gotta get that sperm out, buddy. And then he gets turned on by the girl who's really pretty. So he goes in the bathroom and he does it. Sperm comes out, it's enormous. And so the guy's like, well, we'll flush it. Fine, right? So he flushes it, mistake. Now the sperm is loose. And so then they do, they drop a bomb or something, and then the sperm explodes, and it gets sperm face, it gets sperm all over everybody's face. That's the first movie. The second movie was called I'm a Teenage Bear Wolf. <laughs> I'm a Teenage Bear. I'm a Teenage Wear Bear. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about I'm a Teenage Bear Wolf. But I do know that the songs were very funny. And there was a greaser gang and the guy and his girlfriend got hit by a car and her face was ripped open. And, but she was still alive, so it was okay. And she was very funny the rest of the movie. Because she, she definitely had a concussion. Her face was open. <laughs> her face was open for business. But the two halves of her face were practicing social distancing. <laughs> if this half of her face had COVID-19, this half of her face did not. Her boyfriend took her to a witch doctor that lived on the beach in a tent. And then the other guys just walked by and they were like... Grease lightning. But then at the end of it all, what do you know what happens? A beach party. And that was movie two. In between all the movies, other things happen. Like they put that blue stuff from that dude's penis on popcorn. And that's the most important thing to happen because now everybody in the movie theater parking lot has blue penis buttermilk on their popcorn. And now they're all drinking it. And now they're all turning into blue 
pit of smoke zombies. So now movie three is The Diary of Anne Frankenstein, <laughs> which is only good because of the title. So he makes a very stereotypical Frankenstein monster, a Frankenstein, a Jewish Frankenstein, a Jewish Frankenstein, it's called Anne Frankenstein. They got all the ingredients out of a diary, Anne Frankenstein's diary. It's not really Anne Frank. This is different because her last name is Frankenstein. She wrote a diary too. So then that was movie three. Movie four had poop in it. It was called Defecation. So while that movie's going on, there's this other thing. All the blue, all the blue penis milk has done come out the penis hole. And now everybody's upset because they're zombies. Oh, and then there's these two people. There's the guy and the girl. And they get in the car and they're like, well, we might as well bang it out. You know, what else are we doing? There's zombies everywhere. That's how the movie ends. Because here's what's really here's what's really surprising to anybody who's been following along is that the fourth movie was actually the whole first movie, and then at the end of it, the first, the last movie was the first was the whole movie. The movie was the movie. Do you understand what I'm saying? All of the other movies was all movies inside of movies, and then the other movie was the zombie movie. That was the real movie. There was only one real movie. There was the zombie movie. And then at the end, uh, everybody was in the theater and then they left. And that was it. And that's what you do. That's what you get it. That's what you get it into. And that's the Chillerama. And that's, uh, and I give it zero shots because I think it was perfect. So, everybody say goodbye. And then you say goodbye and I say hello.